Welcome to another low budget production of Dickhead of the Week! <laughs> Why don't you give yourself a wedgie? Oh, hard head! <laughs> Alrighty then! <laughs> Let's get stuck in to this rabble of retards! Why don't we pop over to the ever popular Ukraine and see how much money this war is making? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> is that Voldemort's missus on the cover of Vogue? <laughs> I thought there was a bloody war going on! The people are dying! And this idiot has enough time for another photo shoot! <laughs> Albo, can you please send this supermodel some more of my money? <laughs> the least you could have done is change out of that pathetic t-shirt and put on a collar and tie! You dickhead! <laughs> Alrighty! <laughs> Let's head back to what was once the greatest country on earth! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> it looks like that Mr. Arback has been cleared of yet another investigation! How delightful! <laughs> There's been so many, I've started to lose count! <laughs> what was this one for? Bullying? Or oh, helping yourself to our money for your red toss rags? <laughs> Who the hell knows? What have you got to say for yourself? Mr. Bullshit. Report table today shows is absolutely disgraceful behaviour. Oh, no kidding, shit breath. Behaviour that does not meet my expectations or the expectations of hard-working members of the Victorian community. No shit. As leader of the Parliamentary Labor Party and the Premier of our state, I take full responsibility. Oh, so you should, dickhead. It's not your fault. And I apologise for it. <laughs> Apology not accepted! <laughs> now make like a tree and piss off, you <laughs> dickhead! <laughs> Surely they're making more sense up in Canberra! Shoppers are being forced to make their money stretch much further as inflation continues to bite the supermarket checkout. My shopping would normally cost maybe 160 and now it's over $200. <laughs> Don't worry, doll! I'm sure that Elbow's hard at work <laughs> making our cost of living more affordable! Nada, buku, garupan, gumach, yotu yindi. <laughs> Delightful! I like yotu yindi too, Elbow! But what about the arsing economy? I can't afford a bloody ribeye! Yindi... Nago... Yunu... Mala... Oh, shut up! You bilingual buffhead! <laughs> Surely this big-eared, dopey-eyed donger will help pull our asses out of this economic skid mark! <laughs> Inflation is high and rising, and global growth is slowing. Oh no, shit, Einstein! <laughs> the question is, what the hell are you going to do about it? Garupan Gumach. Oh, shut up, peahead! <laughs> <laughs> What's next? You're gonna play the bloody didgeridoo? <laughs> this bloke just wishes you'd jump on another plane and piss off! Now put the bloody thing down before somebody sticks it up your ass! Yotu Yindi. Yotu Yindi. Yotu Yindi. What? <laughs> Can somebody?
naughty remind that this donut head, that there's an economy that is bordering on collapse. <laughs> it's not news to millions of Australians who feel this inflation challenge every time they go to the supermarket. But the tomatoes, 11 bucks, so just buy cans instead. These are the real costs of inflation. <laughs> yes, I know! <laughs> Our fearless Prime Minister appears to be more interested in taking selfies with Mr. Ed! Hello. Surely inflation and the economy is front and centre in these dickheads' minds! The world's climate emergency is a jobs opportunity for Australia. Climate emergency, climate emergency, climate emergency. Climate emergency. Oh no! Even the smallest of steps on the road to tackling the climate emergency. Climate emergency. Climate emergency. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Actually tackle dangerous global warming. We don't have time to waste. Oh, <laughs> the humanity! Climate wars may or may not be over, but they're certainly in retreat under this government. <laughs> Surely Albo can tell these intellectual heavyweights to focus on the economy! <laughs> so I can buy my bloody ribeye! The rule plan, good match. Holy gerbils, Batman! What hope do we have? Is we have had in this country a wasted decade of missed opportunities and messed up priorities. <laughs> Stop your whining and do something about it! <laughs> and one last thing! Piss those other flags off behind your flapping ears! <laughs> Last time I checked, Australia was one country and not three! Well, we haven't seen the investment in the economy that we need to see. I've heard just about enough out of you, potato head! I don't want to hear another peep out of your trap! until I can afford my bloody ribeye! And that has made us more vulnerable. <laughs> Dickhead! <laughs> Prime Minister has announced he will take a break from politics as of next week, leaving the country in the hands of acting PM Richard Miles. <laughs> Hang on! Hold the bloody phone! You've only been in the job for five minutes! And every one of those minutes you've been on a bloody holiday! <laughs> You're the only buffhead I know <laughs> that needs to take a break <laughs> from having too many bloody holidays! <laughs> Somebody please wake me up from this nightmare! <laughs> Well, I'm pleased to provide some advice about uh, the government's actions in relation to the monkeypox outbreak. <laughs> no! I can't take another pandemic! <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly be causing this surge of monkeypox cases? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you cancel Pride Month, we'd have half a chance of getting this thing under Climate emergency. We gotta get out of this place. So I'm here to update on a case of uh, monkeypox. 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 I'll see you later, dickhead! <laughs> oh, damn you! God! Climate change. Go rule pan, go match. Uh, uh, There's f language. Uh. Tick 
TikTok, TikTok. You want Australia to switch to 100% renewable energy by 2030. Now that will require huge investment and upgrade to infrastructure to achieve. Do you accept, at least initially, that will push up energy prices for households? Uh, no. 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 You stupid, ignorant, son of a bitch, dumb bastard! No. Jesus Christ, I met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all! You're too yindy. That's just not fair. Mm-hmm. <sniffs>